In Tennessee, Gatlinburg, a wildfire broke out randomly, tearing through the Great Smoky Mountains, which killed about 13 people, burning everything around the wildfire's trail of flames. In the text of USA Today, more than about 14,000 citizens were sent fleeing from the resort towns of Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge. The wildfires toured through the southeast throughout the month, and the smoke from the, cover the fires covered the skies like a blanket in the region. It was until Monday, November 28th, at night, the sudden winds reaching near hurricane force caught people off guard. The people of the town was surprised by the intense fire fueling winds of about 90 miles per hour. According to CNN, Cash said investigators suspect the trail fire was caused by humans. ATF and the NPS are investigating. According to ABC News, authorities on Wednesday charged two juveniles in the East Tennessee wildfire. Officials, offi offered, officials offered few other specifics about how they think the two started a fire that leveled buildings into charged scraps, carving a deadly path through the Gatlinburg area. Officials said state law prevents more information about them, but from what was said, they also could be possibly transferred to an adult criminal court. For some reason, for some, what? For some recent, for some recent information, Gracino Mayor, who studied about wildfires for 30 years, specific, specifically those in the Southeast for 20 years. An article on CNN sources say the Gracino states that Gatlin, Gatlinburg was made to burn. He says that he's been predicting a fire in the area for 15 years. Residents need to know that they are living in a very pro fire prone region because of its per proximity, proximity <laughs> to natural forests, he explained. And for some, he says in that region, especially Gatlinburg, is a very dangerous place. Gracino Mayor says that there was a low intensity fire about every seven years, which isn't the kind of fire that was seen. Instead, it unawarely sneaked through areas beneath the tree canopy near the ground. The reason that the fires were smaller is because there wasn't a lot of fuel on the forest floor that would make them blaze higher. Until the 1930s and 40s, where the every seven year fire stopped for almost a century and the area was clean of wildfires, but since there wasn't any seven year fires, the fuel on the ground built up, causing the last fire with the fuel of about 80 years of fuel storage in the ground, which they call the Smoky Bear Effect. I'm Michelle. And I'm Kyrie. Back to you, anchors.